Hi, welcome, it's Jennifer. Today I wanted to share a closer look at the newest release from Concord and Ninth, but instead of just showing the products, I actually have a few card examples for you also. Now, Concord and Ninth is celebrating their second birthday. And as you probably know, if you've watched any of my videos, I am a big fan of Concord and Ninth. This company is uh, the perfect example of kindness, and I cannot say enough good things about them. So I'm excited and honored to be sharing these products and cards with you today. For their birthday, they have a small release of really great products. So I'm gonna focus on those in this video. Let's dive in. The first stamp is the Sprinkles Turnabout Stamp. Now this is a stamp that's designed to stamp four times, turning it each time to create a unique colorful background. Now I've used Turnabout Stamp several times in the past and I will link to those videos here. So be sure to watch that if you've never seen them before. But this is how it works. On the back of the packaging is this little key that helps you to line up your turnabout stamp so you can stamp it in a stamp positioner several times in different colors. That's one way to line up your stamp and I've shown that in the other videos. However, today I wanted to show you another way to do it. And this is using a PDF that you can get on the Concord and Ninth website for each turnabout stamp. You take the stamp and you line it up on the PDF. And what I'm doing is lining up the, the images on the stamp with the images on the paper. Once I have them lined up, I'm going to draw a line that lines up with the X that you see on the paper. Now I'm writing with a permanent pen on the back of my stamp. This won't do any damage to it, and it'll stay there. So the X on the back of my stamp lined up with the X on the paper, and you can see that X there very, it's kind of faint, but it'll do. Okay, so now the second step is you need a six by six piece of paper, and I draw a diagonal line from one corner to the other, and then the other two corners. So you have a giant X on this too. This is your turntable, and you're gonna keep this. You only have to do this step once. You're gonna keep this for the stamp, so you can use it over and over. Now I'm going to take the X on my stamp and line it up with the X on the cardstock in my MISTI stamping tool. You really do need the MISTI stamping tool for this technique. So now I can temporarily adhere any piece of cardstock to the center of this and stamp on it four times, rotating each time, and I get a really cool, colorful background. So this is a piece of white four and a quarter by five and a half to put on the front of a card. I'm going to first stamp with Gina K Designs Sweet Corn. This is a beautiful kind of uh, muted yellow ink. And I'm going to stamp that onto my cardstock. Now I can take my turntable and I can rotate it just one turn to the left in my Misty. Now I can pick another color. This time I'm doing Bubblegum Pink from Gina K Designs. And I'm going to stamp that again. So I'm using Gina K Design inks today. I just find they really work well. And Gina K is friends with the folks at Concord and Ninth. So it seemed like a good matchup. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp with Peach Bellini. So this is a beautiful peach color. And then for my final rotation, I'm going to stamp with a Jelly Bean Green. So now I have four different colors and they're perfectly positioned, no overlapping. And I have this beautiful background using the Sprinkles Turnabout. These turnabout stamps are so innovative and this one is definitely fun. Now to coordinate with the Sprinkles uh, turnabout stamp set is the Sprinkles tag die set. So it cuts out a little tag and you have two different holes to put in the top of the tag. There is also the cupcake uh, die that cuts out the cupcakes that are in the Sprinkles turnabout stamp set. There are also tiny little sprinkles that it cuts that you could put into a shaker window and a perfect heart die. Now in that Sprinkles turnabout stamp set there to the right, notice there are some great sentiments and also several images that can be used to build up a little cupcake image. So a lot of bang for your buck in these two sets. Now I did the use that colorful Sprinkles background I just created on this card and we'll come back to this card in a few moments. But I wanted to show you that I also used the Sprinkles backgrounds turnabout stamp on this background for a tone on tone look. So on a smaller piece of pool colored cardstock, I stamped this four times rotating each time. Once I did it with white pigment ink, once I did it with a darker pool ink, so it's kind of a darker color, and then two times I stamped with Versamark ink for a tone on tone look. So you get this beautiful background that's a little more subdued because it's all tone on tone, but using the same stamp. And again, we'll come back to this card again. 
Okay, next we have the Happy Balloon stamp set. This is a six by eight set, so the images are large. There are lots of sentiments that fit on the banner stamp in the set or on the banner in the coordinating die set. There are different strings that you can hang from the balloon. There is even a little hot air balloon element that you can stamp on the bottom. So you can make these like helium balloons or hot air balloons. So there are solid balloons that you can stamp in solid colors, which I did on the one that you see here. And then there are little doodles that you can stamp on top. I then used the coordinating die set to cut the balloons out and added them onto the card. I like that there are so many different options in this stamp set and the die set, so you can get a lot of different looks. And we're gonna use that die set to create a shaker window in just a moment. You can see after I stamped those balloons and die cut them, I covered them with some shimmer with my Wink of Stella shimmer pen. And then I tied strings to the bottom of my balloons and I wanted to show you how I did that. I just have some silver thread here. I tie it in a knot, creating kind of like a little lasso and I loop that lasso onto the knot at the bottom of my balloon. Now remember, I stamped these balloons and die cut them with the coordinating dies, so they really didn't take that long to put together. And now I'm going to attach a string to the bottom of each of these balloons. Once I've done that, I can put adhesive on the back and fold the bottom ends over so they're tucked in safely on the bottom of this piece of cardstock that we've stamped the sprinkles on, and I can glue them onto my note card. Now for this, I made a note card that is a light gray so that I didn't add too much more color to this. I thought it had enough color as is. And there we have the finished card. So I used the sprinkles background and the happy balloons stamp and die set on this. And I know I'm going through these cards quickly and skipping steps, but that's because I wanted to keep a focus on these new products. And I do have photos of these cards on my blog, so be sure to head there. Okay, so now we're coming back to this card with the sprinkles background and a little shaker balloon. Now this little shaker balloon uses the Happy Balloons die set. Now this die set coordinates with the Happy Balloons stamp set, but alone is a great set. So in this you have the die that cuts the outline balloon with the word happy in it. You have this little banner that has fold lines so you can make a dimensional banner to stamp on. The die to cut the strings and a few different tassel dies to kind of accent your balloons and a little heart. There is a small balloon here that cuts out the small balloon in the stamp set, or you could use it without the stamp set. I haven't cut all my dies apart here yet. I haven't gotten around to it, but you just use wire clippers to cut them. Then there is the outline die. This is a large outline. It's slightly bigger than the happy balloon. It cuts an outline balloon and a solid shape balloon. So it cuts both of the pieces that you see there to the right. And that inside cut cuts out the large balloon in the stamp set. So this all goes together beautifully. So there are many ways you can use these together. Well, I'm going to make a little shaker window today. So I'm using that solid large balloon die. And then I've cut several of the outline balloon die with the happy on it. Now I cut these off from white cardstock that has stick it adhesive on the back. I also cut the large balloon from a piece of acetate. That's gonna be our shaker window. Now, as I mentioned, the white cardstock has stick it adhesive on the back. Basically, it is a stick it uh, double-sided adhesive sheet that you put on the back of cardstock before you cut it, before you die cut it. Then all you have to do is remove the release paper and it sticks wherever you want it. So I put one of those on the front of our acetate window and that'll be the front of our shaker balloon. Then I have maybe four or five happy outline balloons that I cut the word happy off of, and I'm going to stack on top of each other to create the walls of our little shaker balloon. And I'm putting it right onto the large solid balloon. So I'm going to stack a bunch of these outlines right on top of that solid, each time just cutting off the word happy. You could leave the word happy on there if you wanted to and stack that too. So now I have the solid with several outlines stacked on top for the walls of our shaker. Now I'm using my anti-stack powder tool just to eliminate any adhesive edges and wiping it off with a Swifter, Swiffer dusting cloth or any kind of cloth. So now I can add in my little shaker goodies. These are some old sequins that I had. I just like the mix and I'm filling it pretty full because I want this to have a lot of color inside. Then I'm taking a outline balloon putting that on top, and actually what I did with this outline balloon is I put stick it adhesive on both sides of the white cardstock. 
So I have one side to stick down onto our little shaker. Now we have adhesive on the top side, the side facing up, so that I can put my acetate happy balloon on top of it. So I'll take that acetate happy balloon and put it right on top, and that traps all of our little shaker goodies inside, and we have a standalone shaker balloon. You wanna press all that firmly together. Stick it adhesive likes to be pressed firmly to stick, and there you have a fun little balloon. Now what I decided to do was add this to a smaller card. The card is three and a half by five, and I have the balloon and the little string hanging off the card, and it still fits in a larger envelope. I also use that sprinkle background that I showed you before. That little shaker balloon was fun to make, and you can, instead of using stick it adhesive, use a strong liquid adhesive in between each layer if you don't have the stick it. Okay, so let's move on to some other stamp sets. This is the Pineapple Perfection. This is another six by eight stamp set that is really well designed. You have an outline image that's a pineapple with beautiful flowers on it, and there are layering images that you can stamp on top to do quick coloring, which I'm gonna show you. There are also other outline images you can layer on top, and there is a coordinating die set available, and it, that die set has a little banner, and in the stamp set, the sentiments are curved perfectly to fit in that banner. So I'm gonna show you this one in action. I created this very quick card. It's amazing how fast this came together because this stamp set is so well designed. Now I started with a piece of white cardstock and I white heat embossed that big pineapple outline image. So it's white heat embossed on that paper. Now we're gonna stamp those layering images on top and the white embossing will resist the ink and look like we colored it in. So I'm starting with the top of the pineapple and I'm going to stamp this with the jelly bean green and check it out. It looks like we colored that, but all we did was stamp it on top and that is just the coolest thing ever because it saves so much time. Now this is so well designed, they have clusters of flowers that are spaced differently, but they're spaced perfectly to just line up with your outline image, stamp on top of it, and look at this. You've right there very quickly colored in three flowers. Now there are a few other layering images in the stamp set. This one I'm stamping in bubblegum pink. And then I'm going to continue and stamp all the layering images on top. They're very easy to line up the solid image over the outline that we've white heat embossed on our paper. This time I'm using tomato soup from Gina K Designs and look at it, how quickly we build up all of the color. Now this one's even better because this image, look at this, it quickly stamps all the leaves. So now all of the leaves in the image are green. And then finally there's like a berry image and I'm gonna stamp that with a sweet corn yellow. So there you have a white heat embossed image colored in very quickly using this brilliant stamp set. I used the coordinating die set to cut the little banner and I stamped thinking of you on that. I trimmed the sides down, added some pattern paper and some solid cardstock strips on the edge and put that on a four and a quarter by five and a half inch note card. For a little bit of sparkle, I used Wink of Stella on all my flowers, and then I added some little gems from Lucy's cards in between little pearls, just to kind of add a little bit of dimension too. So you could like watercolor in this image or do whatever you want, but I like that I can stamp the layers to do fast coloring. I just think that's brilliant. Okay, now there are two other stamp sets that I didn't get to use, but I wanted to show you. This one is called Here's the Scoop. And again, they really think out their images very well. They have this little Sunday that you can build by putting different things on it. Those little squiggly lines that you see, that's to stamp on the main image to create little lines for like fudge that you pour on top or caramel. And I really like the sentiments in this. I like the one that says, you're the cherry on top of my Sunday. And then there's this little word that says you with an arrow that you stamp to point at the little cherry on the Sunday. There are little sprinkles you can add on top and there is a coordinating die set available for this one. Now, since I didn't have time to use this one, I asked Greg and Angie at Concord and Ninth if I could share one of their examples. And this is one of the cards they created. I think it's just adorable. You can see the little lines used to create the fudge on the ice cream. They added a little sentiment that said calories don't count. And they did some quick coloring. Okay, now there is one more stamp set I wanted to show you. This one is called Seriously Thank You. And this is their promo this month. If you spend, I think, $60 on the Concord and Ninth website, you get this one for free. 
And it's one of those stamps that lets you build up an image in different colors. So you can stamp the seriously hashtag on the bottom and the little lines coming out the side of it and the hearts and the stars. It fits nicely on the front of a note card. Here's one of the examples that Greg and Angie have on their website. And you can see all the different colors they use to quickly create a card that just has a brilliant sentiment on it. So there you have it, a product and card close up on the newest Concord and Ninth release. Happy birthday, Angie and Greg. I'm so honored to call you guys friends. If you want to see more on these products, they are linked below in my YouTube description, but go to my blog where I have better pictures for you to check out. In the middle are two other videos using Concord and Ninth turnabout stamps that you might like. Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again soon and have a great week.